With setup and testing out of the way, it's time to install some cable. We put a lot of thought into designing the Gulfstream to be extremely simple to operate with user-friendly controls that you will have mastered in no time. Let's see it in action. So now that we've done our crash test with the Gulfstream 250, we're ready to do some actual installation. So I've removed our sample piece of duct and our sample piece of fiber. I'm going to go ahead and get our actual fiber in and bring it into the Gulfstream 250. I've got the end here of our actual cable that we're going to be installing today. And I'm going to run it through the back end of the Gulfstream 250 here, through the rear cable entrance guide, and bring it all the way through the air block of the Gulfstream 250. So next, we need some seals for our cable. I'm going to go to our seal pack kit here and get out the size seal for the cable we're going to be installing. Here I've got two of our cable seals because the Gulfstream 250 requires two cable seals. And we're going to take and we're going to slide them on the end, making sure that the cone is pointing down the duct that we're going to be installing into. One seal and then the next. Next, we need our duct pack for the size of the duct that we're going to be installing this cable into. So I go to our duct pack kit. So here I have the duct pack for the size duct we're going to put this cable into. I'm going to take the bottom half, the one with the air entrance hole in it, install into the Gulfstream 250. Now we're going to bring the cable seals back and properly seat them into the duct pack there, just like that. So the next thing is we're going to bring in the entrance end of our duct and install that into the air block of the Gulfstream 250. Now, I need some seals to put on the end of this, so I'm going to go to our duct pack kit. The Gulfstream 250 requires two of these O-ring seals to be installed on the end of the duct. So we're going to go ahead and slide these two O-ring seals on, somewhat close to the end here. So now we have these two O-ring seals installed onto the end of our duct. We can bring our little piece of cable here through, slide it in, and I'm going to seat this properly making sure our O-rings are lined up, making sure we're up against the shoulder and our duct pack teeth are fully engaged. And we bring the top half of our duct pack, bring it all together and secure it down nice and tight inside the air block. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up our air connection. We're gonna make sure that our ball valve is closed. We go and we grab our air compressor hose and we just quick connect it up to our Gulfstream 250. So now before we do any actual installation, I gotta recall my push force and my clamp force down pressure settings that we had established in our crash test. Zero out the count so that we get an accurate reading. Now we wanna make sure our speed is all the way down. And we can go ahead and engage our drive forward and slowly increase our speed up until maximum. Now we're going to do push only, I haven't added any air yet, so we're just doing um, operation of the motor of the Gulfstream 250 here. Now our speed has started to drop, we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of air as needed to bring that speed back up. So I'm going to add about one bar of pressure. And as you can see, my speed has been brought back up to maximum. So we're just going to keep installing until our speed starts to drop again, at which time we'll add a little bit more air until I reach the maximum pressure, just to maintain that installation speed rate. We're installing fiber, we just let it go. All right, so we're approaching the end of our installation run. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow the speed down to zero, uh, turn off our air, disengage our motor, and that's installation with the Gulfstream 250. A quick note about lubricants, uh, if you're wondering whether or not to use it in your installation. Say you're working with multiple bends or a larger ID duct or you're trying to achieve greater distances, uh, that's the type of application you'd want to use lubricant for. Conix offers a wide range of silicon-based lubricants for your fiber blowing, but as always, consult your fiber or duct manufacturer for their recommendation on your specific application.